Hi, welcome to the Bump Class Guide for Dads. I'm Marina Fogel. And I'm Dr. Kiara Hunt. We're the founders of the Bump Class and we're the authors of the Bump Class, an expert guide to pregnancy, birth and beyond. And this book is full of tips, not just for women, but also for fathers and how you can support your, your partner, both in pregnancy, um, during the birth and then afterwards in early parenthood. Um, I think that um, fathers of our generation are kind of really a generation of, of trailblazers. Mm. Um, if you imagine, a generation ago, it wasn't that common for fathers to be present at the birth of their babies. I mean, um, we have a father who was not there at any of our births, <laughs> and he's a doctor, and that was considered absolutely fine at the time. <laughs> and nowadays, actually, it's quite rare for fathers uh, not to be there at the birth of their babies. And in spite of sort of reservations and fears that they might have, I think it's really telling that most fathers will say that it was an absolutely amazing time and they were really glad they were there. As the due date approaches, it's a really good idea to sit down and have a very frank chat with your partner. Talk about labour, um, talk about you know when you've got an understanding of it and about what she's going to want from you. Um, talk practically too, you know, does she want you up at the head end or is she happy for you to be at the business end? I think it's really worth having a sort of an, a chat about this mm. beforehand. But at the same time, don't put these plans into concrete. You know, make sure that you can change your minds because very often people in the throes of labour sort of suddenly think, this is something I can't miss. So um, have an open mind about it and do what's right for you as a couple. Yeah, I've certainly come across lots of fathers who said, you know, they don't want to be down the business end. And actually when the time came, they really did want to be down the business end and watch their baby being born. Uh, and the other way around too, so an open mind is all you need. A lot of fathers say, but what can I do? You know, she's the one that's having the baby. I can't have the baby for her. How can I really be that helpful in labour? And actually, um, we often compare labour to a bit of a marathon. And if you imagine that your partner is running that marathon, your role is to be her pacer. You have a crucial role in keeping her positive, making sure she's organised, making sure that everyone does what she wants them to do, that the midwives are supporting her in the way that she needs, and making sure she's got enough to eat and to drink. And the most important thing you can do is keep her positive. Remind her the whole time that she is doing a fantastic job, that she is doing beautifully well, that she is brave, that she is clever, and you're about to get the best present you will ever get in your whole life. Yeah. And, and a lot of men say, but how important can that be? And yet when we speak to women who've given birth, they say there is, you can't really quantify the importance of hearing that, and that is such a, a, an aid in labour. So don't underestimate the importance of positivity and how you can impact her labour. So our next point um, is actually you know, a really practical tip. If you can help with all the practical things in the lead up to the birth, um, unpack the buggy, work out how to put it together, how it folds. Um, similarly with the car seat, um, you will take your baby home from hospital in a car seat. So before your baby's born, you need to work out how the baby fits into that, how mm. that car seat fits mm. into the car. These things are incredibly complicated, yeah. aren't they? They usually have a bit of a sort of cryptic um, series of pictures with no words on the side, and you've got to somehow work out how the thing works. Um, we've always found actually YouTube is a brilliant um, uh, resource. resource for yeah. that. Um, uh, but don't underestimate the time that will take. I remember when my, my eldest son was due, Kiara and I spent um, a bit of time trying to work out how the buggy and the uh, baby seat worked. I think it took us a whole morning. It did, it did. So don't don't underestimate the time it might take you to do that. So what else can you do? The, if you could be in charge of the bureaucracy and the practical aspects of, of the paperwork when your baby's born, um, the hospital will give you the paperwork that you need to take to the town hall closest to where the baby has been born to register the baby's birth and that has got to be done within 42 days of the baby's birth. So actually the sooner you get it done the better because until you've got the birth certificate you can't apply for the passport. So if you can be in charge of all the bureaucracy that will be really helpful. She'll really thank you for that. I think, you know, finally, do expect, don't expect it to be amazing fun from, from day one. I mean, I think the day your baby's born is extraordinary, um, but babies take a while to give back and you will feel very protective over your baby and you'll feel very proud of your partner to have achieved this amazing thing. Mm. But at the same time, it's exhausting. And it, as I said, it takes a few weeks for your baby to start smiling. But once those smiles and that daddy adoration start, it is the best thing in the world. Yeah, we've had a lot of fathers tell us when they're being totally honest 
honest, that they haven't really started loving it until the baby gets to about six or eight weeks, when the baby starts smiling and giving a bit back to you, and that's normal, so it's fine to expect that. That said, get involved in the early days. You know, we give um, lots of practical advice on changing nappies and washing and topping tail your baby, and it's so much more than about actually just the baby care. You looking after your baby is about interacting with your baby, and the more the baby gets to know you, the more likely you are to get one of those amazing smiles yeah. when they happen. Yeah, absolutely. I think the other thing that a lot of new parents often forget is, is to nurture their relationship. And um, if you think about what's really important and what your baby will really benefit from, it's a strong family relationship. And relationships don't thrive unless they're nurtured in some way. So while it will all be about the baby in the early days, mm -hmm. do put aside some time, just the two of you. Try and have dinner once in a while and actually have a conversation. It will probably be just about the baby for the yeah. first few times, but at least you're getting into the habit of communicating with each other and um, that will put you on, on, give you such benefit in the long term. And another tip that's I think worth knowing is try and make a time of the day uh, that you can put aside for you and your baby, just daddy and baby time. And a lot of fathers find that's bath time, uh, that they can really spend that time just one-on-one -on -one with the baby. But if you start early, that will continue and you know it'll be the toddlers in the bath before you know it. We give obviously a lot of tips for fathers in our book. Um, uh, and a lot of that comes from both sort of professionals, but also the practical um, feedback we've been given from all the thousands of mothers that we've looked after on the bump mm -hmm. class. What would, say, what would you say is the most important thing that your husband did for you in the sort of early days of, of parenthood? Well, I wouldn't say, probably not the most important, but one of the nicest things actually was when I came home from, home from hospital, the house, he made sure the house was all clean and tidy from the mess we'd left it in in labor. And it was, he'd filled it with loads and loads of bunch of daffodils and that was really lovely. Aww. I'd say that the best thing that my husband did for me was he filled up the fridge when I came <laughs> home from hospital. But, uh, women, new mothers tend to be incredibly hungry and actually it's really important that they do eat yeah. um, well in those early days and it was so lovely having a fridge full of nutritious easy meals to repair yeah. but also quite a few naughty things yeah. that uh, I enjoyed. Yeah. Uh, so enjoy fatherhood. It is really, um, it's such a privilege to be a father yeah. and our book has um, various chapters on becoming a father yeah. but it's also worth reading some of the chapters about um, labour because it will give you, make you familiar with the terminology and understand a bit about what's happening physiologically. So enjoy it.